G'day everybody, welcome back to our playthrough of Starfield. We are on the planet Maheo 4, where we have our very first outpost. We have uh, pretty much completed building a couple of rooms here. Uh, one's going to be sort of a crew quarters and the other one is going to be, I guess, for doing all of the work uh, involved out here. What this outpost's purpose is, I have no idea. <laughs> but anyway, uh, there was a problem towards the end of the episode where I couldn't really figure out how to transfer crew here. And uh, I've since uh, consulted the interwebs and uh, I think I know what needs to be done. Let's just quickly go into our space here and uh, what we need to build is something that's in the miscellaneous category uh, and it's this thing here called the crew station so that's what we'll build uh, and maybe I'll just build one right here oh god all right I, uh, I always click on the left mouse button instead of actually pressing E to put things down or build. And uh, one frustrating thing about uh, all of the build mechanics is, oh, uh, the crew station allows you to assign crew to your outpost, which can provide various benefits depending on their skills. You can assign crew to your outpost by going to data menu, ship menu, and crew, which we've seen before already. I feel like we may have sort of jumped the gun there. Uh, with looking at the crew stuff. This is definitely out of whack. <laughs> let's, let's maybe tidy things up a little bit. And yeah, I was saying I'm, I'm really not a fan of the rotation and stuff like that in this game. Uh, it's very hard to get things to align properly. I don't know if there is a snap function. Uh, I haven't seen it anywhere. If there is. But uh, yeah, here we go. We've got a crew station. Uh... Doesn't really look like it has anything on it though. Uh, they've got a little desk fan, which is nice. Uh, keep themselves cool in here. Uh, but yeah, now that we've got the crew station in there, let's actually go to the crew menu and we should be able to assign uh, Lynn and we should be able to assign Heller here as well. Um, now, initially I thought you might have to build like a couple of crew stations for each person uh, but no that's not the case you just need one and then you should be able to transfer crew here uh, and it doesn't really matter how many crew I think there's a limitation per outpost of how many crew members you can have uh, I'm not sure what determines that to be honest uh, whether or not it's maybe the size of the outpost or how many beds are available or you know, uh, yeah, it, it could be the number of rooms and the size. Anyway, uh, I'm going to try to perhaps put down a few other things here. Actually, maybe let's not go inside. Um, I'm just trying to think about how we can make this place useful. We've got uh, energy generation going already so I figure that energy should be powering something right I don't think the outpost itself needs energy but there are certain uh, I guess structures that might need energy like these things here extractors uh, we don't seem to have like a lot of extractors at all uh, we've only got like chlorine and water extractors so I mean we can put maybe one of them down uh, then there's water vapor extractors as well uh, I don't know if this is already exhaustive or whether or not we might need to uh, you know research a few more of these things uh, from the lodge for example. Extractors harvest resources over time. Most have to be placed on a resource vein 
Some resources can be harvested from the atmosphere. Once the extractor's inventory is full, it will stop producing if you create an output link to a storage container of the matching type. The extractor's output will go directly to it. To create an output link, switch to modify mode using tab, uh, highlight the object and press mouse 2. All valid targets will be highlighted. Highlight the object you want to send the object's output to and press E to create the link. Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, so I suppose maybe we need to create like some sort of storage uh, facility or something. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure what this is. It seems to be pointing out some kind of a resource. I don't know if uh, this needs to be on a vein or not. It just says that it produces chlorine. Um, and, well, I guess we don't really have uh, resources that's required for the water vapor or the water for that matter. So uh, we might as well track all of these, uh, you know, uh, materials that we might need and we'll try and get some. Uh, okay, so let's see if we can play around with the storage. So here we go. We've got a transfer container. Build this to allow transfer of cargo while on board your ship. Okay, so this will just allow us to maybe access the storage in this location uh, which might not be a bad idea I'll also just track the materials for this one because we can only build one Yeah, again, I, I wish there was a way to align stuff. It seems a little bit difficult to to get things to, you know, fit neatly. Yeah, m maybe, <laughs> maybe uh, I should just accept that things are not going to look too neat. Uh, you can easily transfer items between an outpost and your ship by building a transfer container. To fill the transfer container, uh, create an output links to it from extractors and builders. Okay, cool. So we've done that. Now let's go here. Okay, and then now we should be able to create an output link. There we go. By creating an output link from the extractor chlorine, uh, everything it produces will be automatically sent to the transfer container. Output links are useful for storing the output of extractors and builders. They are also essential for providing builders with their required resources. Okay, cool. Um, I mean, the other thing that I was sort of thinking about building was maybe this storage container for gas. Uh, because, oh actually no, chlorine might be, is it a liquid? Uh, how do I know what form it is? Uh, I can see like a cloud there, so I assume it's a gas. Um, maybe we want to build these gas storage containers, so we'll need to look for all of this stuff, copper and adaptive frames. Uh, we've got the materials, it's just all of the sort of little pieces that we need. Adaptive frames, I'm not entirely sure if we've seen too many, but perhaps maybe we have. I just haven't really been picking up a lot of stuff, so... <laughs> um, I haven't really seen Lynn or Heller move in yet, so I'm guessing if we do come back, they'll appear. But anyway, I think that's enough building for now. Uh, let's fast travel to the frontier and we'll make a decision on what to do next. So let's have a look. We picked up a few new things from Aquila City. Not sure if I really want to be doing that right now. Uh, I figure though maybe it's time for us to just go to 
Procyon 3. Let's continue on with the Constellations story uh, and see what happens next. So uh, let's set a course. You have not explored every system along this route. Try jumping to a closer system. Uh, okay. So I guess we can't jump to Procyon 3 immediately. Maybe we have to go to Wolf system first. So let's do that. Kind of a new place that we've not been to before. Got a enemy here. Oh, there's one. Where's my textbook? Unknown ship, do you copy? This is a UC Vanguard vessel. Please respond to my hail. You, you actually responded? Uh, wait, where'd my notes go? <clears throat> Thank you for accepting my hail. This is UC Vanguard vessel AHC1026 performing standard training exercises. Civilian pilot, do you require assistance from the UC Vanguard at this time? Uh, okay. This guy sounds sus as hell. Um, first they on the job? Ah, uh, still in training, actually. Is it that obvious? I've seen some hostiles in the area. You should keep patrolling. Uh, hostiles? Shit. I'm, I mean, ah. Uh, thank you for bringing this matter to my attention. This UC Vanguard vessel will make every effort to assist you. Right after I get back up. UC Vanguard vessel AHC1026 preparing for grav jump. Please clear the area. <laughs> okay. Doesn't seem very reliable, does he? Um, there he goes. Exploring the galaxy is hard work. Trust me, I know. But stop by sometime and let's talk. Just us adventurers, okay? Oh, alright. <laughs> so he wants to talk again, but we just had a good chat with Barrett before. Uh, let's maybe not for now. Um, let's just check out the wolf system here. Wow, okay. Gigantic star. Um, only a couple of planets actually. So there's a... Etheria Ruins. Interesting. Um, let me just quickly scan this moon. Uh... Definitely nothing of interest. There's a few resources. Uh, this one would be pretty easy to scan completely, I would say, if we wanted to land there. Uh, we might as well. There's also a few resources that we could take uh, while we're in the process of scanning everything, so we may as well. Maybe we can visit a couple of interesting sites here and there. Uh, get into a, a few fights, potentially. Jeez, man. Alright, so... Just a drill site over there. There's some mercury here. I'm not entirely sure I've found mer uh, sorry, mercury before. Something going on over there. Not too much going on. There's another unknown location there. Structure. Okay. Um, why don't we visit this maybe abandoned mine? Uh, and we'll see what's there. Probably spaces or pirates. And uh, we'll see if we can find any of the other resources that we're supposed to find here. There is actually a uh, question mark, so maybe either a geological or biological uh, formation. So we'll head in that direction as well after we've checked out this mine. Uh, 
refined space trucker space helmet. Sure. Almost feels like you could just like boost indefinitely here. Okay, so let's check out whether or not there are people to fight here. I think so. Pirates. Oh man, that's horrible. <laughs> and I'm guessing there might be a pirate up top as well. Okay, they're fully alerted now. So I won't be able to get the, uh, the sneak bonus if I don't hit them when they're still unaware. I'm not sure if they know where a position is, though. Jeez, okay, well, there goes Barrett. We might as well go in guns blazing now. Stuck there. Okay, that's new. We still don't have a lot of revolver ammo. Sorry. Well, they don't need it now. Okay, just leveled up. That's nice. Let's turn that bloody alarm off. There we go. Much better. I'll we'll have a look around. Uh, do we need water? No. Not at the moment, anyway. Uh, there's something over there. Okay, Mercury. Alright. Uh, let's head this way. I think we're sort of familiar with this setup, aren't we? So, oh god. Okay, that's probably gonna last a while. Let's just work our way up here to the top of this tower and uh, we'll see if there's anything useful up here. I know there's a room and then it goes further up, right? Oh god, Barrett. Scare the crap out of me. <laughs> you get out of here. Okay, I heard a pirate. Hey, you're not supposed to be here. Turn around and leave. Now. Uh, I wonder where this guy is. Maybe at the very top. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You get out of here. <laughs> yeah, uh... Mate, uh... You know, 
there has been a lot of fighting already. The alarm went off and you didn't really join in, so, you know, I mean, uh, that's really, really lazy. I'll, I'll grab the drum beat. Why not? We'll sell it. Yeah, completely oblivious to whatever's going on down here. Alright, let's drop back down and we wanted to just check out this room. We'll go into the mine as well and we'll try and clear it quickly. Hopefully by being in the mine we'll find the other two resources that we need to find. It seem like you can place a mine anywhere, but it depends on how minerals <coughs> form and collect. Mining monthly issue one. Nice. I think we've seen that before. We'll gladly take it though. Um, Alright. Let's keep going. Let's go down this mine. And, you know, I find it to be a little bit weird that uh, the enemies inside the mine are not, like, fully prepared for us, considering the alarm was tripped. Uh, you would think that the alarm being tripped... On some planets, it takes a millennia for some cave formations to grow. On others, it can take days. Dusty. Dusty. Let's talk. Jeez, man. He really, really does want to talk to us, doesn't he? Alright, we'll oblige him in a moment. Okay, got him. Uh, I don't know... ...who these guys were shooting at, though. There was, uh, a few shots fired. Anyway, let's get our robot friend up. Uh, update friend foe settings, recalibrate. Activate units. Cool. Alright, good times. Uh, I think we'll have a chat with Barrett once we've cleared this mine, and then uh, we'll go from there. Yeah, they seem to be fighting some other people in there. Okay, uh, we'll grab that. I think there is a way to go down from here, right? Uh, so we'll see if we can go down and uh, check out what kind of minerals are available. Uh, 
head and oh that's just a dead pirate okay we still need to find silver uh, anyway let's see if we can quickly grab some of this lead Definitely need the sealant. Uh, Alright, I think we're done here. Ryan, have we seen that before? I couldn't exactly see the shape, but let's have a look at it. An Orion. Okay. Looks interesting. Uh, it is a laser rifle. Actually, this looks familiar. I think we may have tried it already. I can always give it another go. What's this? Let's talk. Okay, silver. When you have time, of nice. Alright, so we've got 92% scan for this entire my attention, uh, planet. We do have maybe a uh, biological formation that we need to scan, so we'll do that once we're done with this mine. Oh god, alright. <laughs> he definitely took a grenade to the face there. Nero Jack. Not sure what that is, but... Okay, let's... Work our way around. Random heat leech. Oh yes! I know how this ends. Okay. I hate that you get stuck on terrain sometimes, which is, is well, really, really right. annoying. Okay, we should be able to unlock this one. Uh, might be a challenge though.
Okay, that looks good. Uh, I've just noticed, but we've got now, like, these different colors. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what that means. Maybe with our increased skill, we can now tell which keys are for what layer. So that helps. So this key can be used for the second layer. Uh, maybe this one as well. So that looks good. But... Hmm. Okay, this might not be good for any layer. So that works. So these are okay. Um... Yeah, okay, I think that works, and uh, now we just need to solve the lower layer. Um, yeah, I think we could just use, like, these ones with the one prong. So, alright, let's do it. There we go. Alright. Uh, took a while. I'm not entirely sure if it was entirely worth it or not, but anyway, let's just take everything. Considering the pain we went through. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Uh, hidden stash over here. And... our way down. I'm pretty sure there's still one more pirate out here, right? So I'm just going to be a little bit careful. There he is. So there seems to be stuck in midair there. <laughs> I love that Bethesda jank. I guess there's going to be like e extreme Dark levels of jank considering uh, these flowers. Bethesda games now deal with like anti-grav and low-grav. Uh, okay. <laughs> things are going to look really, really ridiculous uh, at times. I'm all ears. Okay, so... Where is that pirate? Okay. Find anything Rapid worth selling Bridger. Or I'm using? not entirely sure of what a Bridger is hey, exactly. Uh, let's have a look. Oh yes, one of these. Okay. That's some time. Okay. 
Okay, uh, we do need to talk to Barrett in a moment. I think we're looking okay here, right? So let's fast travel uh, and let's fast travel back to the ship. Ah, oh, we're carrying too much. God, all right. Well, I think it might be time to have a chat with Barrett then. Uh, let's see. I'm just gonna try and loot all of the stuff and then we'll, you know, offload to Barrett. Okay. I've been thinking a lot about my early days in Constellation lately. Got me pretty nostalgic and I started digging in some old things. Just sort of reminiscing. I found some of Irvin's last messages to me and thought I'd listen to them again to hear his voice. Were these previously unread messages? No, I apparently read at least a few of these. I just don't remember. It was a difficult time. I hope that was a comfort. It was surreal. Honestly. So, most of the messages were everyday things. Lots of excitedly written news about biodiversity and plant life. But one thing stood out. In one of his messages, he mentioned this job that he took at a mine shortly before he died. He said something terrible was happening there. But the message was garbled after that. Interstellar communication isn't always reliable. True, but this was different. I recognized this pattern from the war. A portion of the message was encrypted. Well, Vasco helped me decipher it. Turns out the message was from Irvin, and he was begging me to help him. The message was short, but his voice was pained. He was so upset. What was the message? He said they were going to destroy his life if he didn't leave the planet now. Then he asked me to help clear his name. Said they had a case against him. Oh, he sounded so upset. Must have been difficult to hear, Barrett. <sighs> yes. Hearing his voice in so much pain was very difficult. Oh. <sighs> I wish I had noticed this message when he sent it. So in this message, Irvin said he was being framed. He said they'll do it again. He asked if Constellation could send more help. Framed for what? Not exactly sure, but he mentioned a court case. So I think there's a paper trail. Who's they? His former employers at some job he took before he died. I think it was a mining company. You didn't notice this encrypted message before? No, I just thought it was garbled. I just wasn't paying attention. I don't know. This recording is 20 years old. It is, but I was thinking about it and well, it's still wrong, right? So I figured, hey, I can do some sort of a remote investigation here, see what I can find out. There's gotta be a paper trail, right? Now, I happen to have a trustworthy contact who knows a bit about law and owes me a favor. I need to pay in advance in case there are any access fees or bribes. What's your contact going to do for us? Uh, he knows how to navigate archived and redacted legal documents, so he'll look for anything to do with Irvin on Gagarin. If those documents are protected, he might have to pay to access them. Might need to grease some palms, too. Alright. Well, uh, we can spare 2,500 creds, so... That works. I'll tell them to go ahead with the investigation. You know, hearing Irvin's voice again made me want to help him. <laughs> Even though I know I can't. Does that make any sense?
If Irvin was that upset, then it must still be important. I appreciate that. It's going to be hard to get some sleep tonight after all this. But the fact that I'm doing something about it might be enough to help. Hopefully poking around in old records doesn't catch the attention of Hephaestus. Well, anyway, I'll let you know if my contact finds anything. Sweet. Now, what's new? Let's offload. Of course. I have room for that. So, let's check out our stuff. We'll drop resources with him. And yeah, that should let us move around a little bit easier. Okay. Right. Okay, so let's now fast travel to the ship. And from there, I'm just going to get back out and we'll try and uh, run all the way to this, uh, I think it's going to be a biological anomaly. Uh, we've got that structure over there. I can't remember where we saw that biological anomaly, but it was sort of on the way to the abandoned mine. Ah, yeah, there it is. So we've got some life signs over there. going to be a little bit of a run here. So I think in this particular moon, uh, jumping and using low grav might be a little bit slower than actually running, but we'll do that if we're dealing with CO2 buildup. I mean, we don't really need mercury, but may as well grab some. Well, actually, that was silver. Okay, so what do we have here? Alright, shallow ecosystems in a nutrient-dense pools cycle minerals and remains into the fossiliferous sediments. Coralline mineral pool. Okay, cool. Uh, I think a lot of these things are basically pretty similar on other planets as well. It's just a sort of interesting biological feature uh, of the planet. But uh, anyway, let's head back and uh, we're going to need to decide what to do next. So. Uh, fast travel to the frontier. Uh, we've got a lot of stuff. I would like to go to a spaceport if I can. Uh, so let's see. Maybe it's time for us to get deputized with a killer city and become a ranger. Uh, but I'm just sort of concerned that if I do that, does that mean that I can't become a vanguard anymore? Like, can I be a vanguard and a, uh, you know, a ranger at the same time. Who knows, but you know what? Let's try out being a ranger. And uh, I'm sort of hoping that if we, you know, don't have uh, the ability to become a vanguard, then maybe there is the ability to stop being a ranger, you know, to quit. And then you can become a vanguard later on. Yeah, I'm just not entirely sure if you need to sort of pick sides, basically, because I remember in Skyrim, 
You could pick sides. Hey, you might want this. Jeez, Barrett, can you stop? <laughs> mm -hmm. Do you need something? Uh, do you have anything? I do, actually. Here you go. Sweet. Alien jerky. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, so I remember you could choose factions, uh, not only in Skyrim, but also Fallout 4. So I'm thinking something similar might happen here. Uh, all right, let's get rid of a whole bunch of stuff that we don't want. Uh, regulator. We haven't exactly used the regulator, so I'm not going to get rid of that. We'll get rid of the Kraken. Calibrated Solstice. Yeah, we'll get rid of that. Coachman. Yeah, this is the one that we want to keep, so I'll, I'll keep that. Extended Mag. Old Earth Shotgun. This is 88 versus... Uh... Yeah, it's the same. With 12 shots in there. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> so, I might take that actually. Let's sell the old one. Um, we'll get rid of that. Exterminator Urban Eagle. Uh, I'm not sure if we've got an Urban Eagle equipped, so let's just keep that for a second. Drum beat. Get rid of that. Get rid of the Orion as well. Bridger. Uh, yeah, might as well. Ah, okay, we don't have any more cash here. Um, I don't really know who does trading here in Aquila City. I finally saved up enough. So, might need to sort of find who we can trade with. Actually, uh, we could go speak to that guy that we don't like um, at the Trade Authority. So, he'll have some cash on him, so we can do that. Uh, where is he? Hmm. Okay. Doesn't seem to be here. Can we do some trading with this guy? You can be. Sometimes working at this branch almost feels like being at a private museum. So many remarkable things stored safely inside. Do you have a lot of trouble with people trying to rob the bank? Eh, not as much as we used to. Ever since Marshal Blake took charge of the Rangers, well, <laughs> things have been a lot quieter. There was a time those locked gang boys would be in here so often, we used to joke they ought to just open accounts. Gotta hand it to Marshal Blake, though. He's really got them on the run. But one thing I can not say is I've never been a hostage before, and well, I think I've had my fill of that for a while. What kind of things do you keep in your vault? In a word, heirlooms. Some of the old families, those descended from the city founders, store objects of value here. Yes, we've got items in our vault that have been passed down from generation to generation. I like to think that the entire heritage of Aquila City is stored right here for safekeeping. And me? Well, I'm the protector of that heritage. <laughs> okay, cool. Well, thank you for your business. Uh, alright, well, I'm not entirely sure where the store, uh, sorry, the trade authority guy is. I wonder if he's in the vault. I know we found him here the other day, but uh, I'm not entirely sure if, you know, he hangs around here on the regular. Hmm. Perhaps maybe we could speak to one of the uh, city guards about where to do some trading. Hey, no funny stuff with that booze pack. Got enough. Aquila City is really the heart of the Free Star Collective. Okay. Uh, didn't really mention anything about where we can do the trading. Everything good? You're out there a lot, right? 
in space? I'm just uh, remembering the times in, you know, Oblivion where you could speak to a city guard and they'll give you directions, essentially. Uh, actually, we should tag uh, the deputized mission. So let's track this. Um, Hmm. Is that a course? This is in Aquila City, right? Back in the lap of luxury. Okay, I, I don't understand why we had to teleport back to the ship there. Uh, I was gonna do Into the Unknown, but let's do deputized first. Sorry, I'm hoping maybe someone at the security might be able to trade with us, or maybe we could go to Laredo Firearms or something. Never wonder how the Crimson Fleet seems to be everywhere. Got a job board there. And you're breathing? Back to normal yet? Mostly. Still Excuse me. What? Guess I'm not Here? Gotcha. But it's nothing that would keep me from getting back out there. You need to give it more time, Helga. Mm. Guess that means you won't be telling the Marshal that I'm approved for field duty. Not yet. There could still be a setback, and I need to be close at hand if that happens. Fine, fine. But you should know that I'm crawling the walls in here. You just take it easy. Shouldn't be long now. Alright, someone's getting bored doing desk work. We got a lot of bars in the city. All class. Seems things. that way. Well, except that. That's Maggie's. pretty crazy. Yeah, I wasn't expecting to walk into a bar, but that's all right. It's pretty in the city. It ain't bad. Uh, let's see what you got. Let's see what you fancy. Can I sell all of my weapons and stuff, or no? Okay. Well, <laughs> that's too bad. Which one? Oh, actually, here we go. How do you do it? Well, hey Emma there. Wilcox. Right. Kill Can we have a sit? The stories about you, they ain't all real. Stories never are. You keep rangering day by day, you'll get there. You got some business with me? I do. Uh, I'm the hero that's uh, solved the Galbank hostage crisis. Uh, I want to learn more about the Freestar Rangers. That's so. Well, you found your way to the right person. Well, the Freestar Rangers ensure the safety and security of the Freestar Collective and its people. We might hunt down a fugitive, break up a smuggling operation, investigate a starship theft, or put some would-be bank robbers behind bars. Whatever needs doing to keep the people safe, we do. Don't most places have their own security force? Sure. But we rangers work across the whole of Freestar Collective Space. Alright, that's pretty admirable. Like most things that are worth doing, it ain't always easy. But, do I think we make the Freestar Collective a little safer for everyone? Yeah, I do. I imagine you've got some questions. I'll answer anything I can. Is it paying work? <laughs> Uh, what authority do the Freestar Rangers have? Well, in theory, a Freestar Ranger can go anywhere in Freestar Collective Space, uh, even private property. But of course, it doesn't always work out that way. We also have jurisdiction over any local security when we're tracking a fugitive. Are there a lot of Rangers? The number's always changing due to retirements, recruiting, and unfortunately, death in the line of duty. But as far as I know, there's never been more than a dozen rangers at any one time. I know what I need to do. Let's continue. Okay, then. A word about myself. 
I'm in charge of making sure anyone that wants to be a Freestar Ranger is up to the task. That being said, the Marshal wouldn't send you here if he didn't think you had potential. So, what's it gonna be? Are you ready to sign up with the Freestar Rangers? <laughs> we should get the Marshal's job? Maybe. How do I apply? Do I fill out a form or something? I prefer a more practical kind of evaluation. I'll give you the details if you want to join up. Yeah, sure, let's do it. Before I hand you a badge, I need to know you can handle the job. You helped out with the hostage situation, but sometimes people just get lucky. Tell you what, use the mission terminal and take one of the listed jobs. Your choice. Come back alive, and we'll talk about you joining up. Didn't I already prove myself at Galbank? This is a dangerous line of work, and I'm not putting someone in the field unless I'm sure they're ready. Okay, I'll do one of your missions. Then I suggest you get going. Alright, sweet. Well, let's get out of here. And uh, let's pick up Hi one of these missions then. Uh, Freestar Rangers Mission Board. Well, let's just pick up one of the higher paying ones, I think. So, need to go to Piazzi or Groombridge. Oh, let's just do the first one. Sweet. Okay, so... I guess uh, we're going to have to fight more pirates. What is this thing? Oh, God. You're probably looking for Mary. Uh... Luckily, I didn't shoot anyone. <laughs> Definitely a bad misclick there. Let's go, Barrett. Hello, Captain. Uh, Gladly. Before they, you know, tell us to go away and never deputize us because we're endangering the the general populace. Okay, cool. Um, now, since we're still here. Uh, I'm just trying to remember if uh, Laredo Firearms is somewhere nearby. Co Heritage Museum. It is a little bit difficult to make your way around uh, and to find your way around Nobody's some of the cities. The stretch. Um, okay, we've got space frogs here. I like it. Over there. Tourist? Okay, so the stretch is sort of the poorest neighborhood, I suppose, of the uh, Aggies. the Sam Achilles City. Me about this place once. Don't remember why. Well, we'll figure it out. So I'm thinking Laredo must be well, not within that area. Um. Or. East Gate. Um, I'm sure there would be a big uh, sign pointing us to Laredo Firearms. Speak to a guard. Your next stop nope. would be the Charybdis system, would it? So we don't have the ships to send someone that far out. Okay, distress call. Find the distress call in the Charybdis system. All right, we'll do that at some point. I've heard some xeno predators can mimic other animals. We've got a little Bears bit of a garden us. going on here. Still have some Quite nice. Um.
Okay, geez. All right. I am super lost. Western Filburn's house. Filburn Agriculture. Never ever go outside the city walls after sundown. Ashta on one Okay, I am so lost, guys. Ah, oh, here we go. <laughs> Laredo Firearms. Uh, unfortunately, there's no way for me to tell uh, on the map, you know, where things are exactly. Um, unlike previous Bethesda games, you could, you know, essentially tell where you are, but uh, not in this one. Uh, Alright, let's have a chat about all of our excessive firearms. Uh, and we'll see if we can just get rid of some. Every gun gets a full Laredo gun. Here's what I have in stock. Alright, so... Actually, no, that's what they're selling. There we go. Well, let's just get rid of the Equinox. I've been hanging on to it for a while, actually. Uh, anything else I can get rid of here? So, mines. And I think that's it. They only accept weapons here, right? So, I would like to be able to get rid of some, like, armor and stuff, but uh, we'll do that whenever we get back to another spaceport where we can sell stuff. Okay, so from here, let us uh, decide on what to do next. I mean, we do need to get deputized, so I suppose maybe we can just focus on this, and then maybe in the next episode we'll continue on with uh, reaching Procyon. We have uh, checked out the wolf system already, uh, and we did a little bit of scanning there, uh, but now that the system is familiar, I assume we should be able to go to Procyon 3 pretty easily. So, anyway. Uh, here we go. Kill the outlaw captain on Piazzi 5. Let's do it. Again, we've got another unexplored route. Let's just go to Barnard's Star first. Alright, and we may as well just quickly check on what this system looks like, because we haven't been here before. Alright, very, very simple. <laughs> Apparently there's a ship sitting out here. Not entirely sure what it's doing. But uh, are we interested in stopping by? Well, maybe not. Let's just move on to uh, our destination. Piazzi. Let's jump. Okay. Uh, let's check out this system for a second. Alright, interesting. A lot of planets and a lot of moons to visit. There's probably going to be a lot of activity here. Uh, let's maybe have a look at that mission once more and let's actually track it. Check out the outlaw captain at the abandoned mine. Sure. Uh, let's take a look at where that is exactly. Right. Extreme environment. Uh, let's land. And I think we'll proceed to deal with these outlaws in the next episode. I mean, we're literally landing right next to their base, so you would think that they'd be prepared for us. 
considering we've, you know, just come in here uninvited. Uh, I'm just gonna get up for a second instead of exit the ship completely because I do want to just spend one of my skill points here uh, as we sort of wrap up this episode. So let's take a look. Uh, I think I mentioned that I really do want to try and get to starship design and stuff like that so we need two more points in tech to get there. I don't know, can we justify putting stuff into uh, you know, more ship related stuff when we don't really spend too much time in the ship. Boost pack training. Now utilize boost packs. Uh, using a boost pack expends less fuel. Could be good. Mm. Could be nice to actually be able to get more HP from a med pack. This is also tempting. Uh, that's alright, let's let's go into boost pack. I think considering how much running and boosting we're doing everywhere, I think it'll be useful. Cool, alright, well that is the end of this episode. Uh, I think when we come back we'll do a couple of things here. We'll get deputized, we'll deal with this uh, outlaw. Uh, and then we'll continue on with the Constellation's main story. Hope you enjoyed this one, guys. As usual, leave a like or a dislike or a comment or two down below. Stay true, and I'll see you guys in the next one.